everybody, it is Mike from Baltimore Rides here. I am back on the airwaves. Um, I've been a little bit in and out. <coughs> As you can hear, I'm still sick. <coughs> Let me get a cough drop. That way I won't cough so much while I'm making this video. But, um, you know, because I don't sugarcoat anything, that's really why I haven't been making a lot of videos. I've been fighting a cold for uh, the past week, basically, and it has been kicking my butt. Now, this dry, kind of like raspy cough will not go away. I'm on antibiotics, you know, tea with honey, all that crap, but, uh, you know, it's just, it is what it is. So, I've been working sporadically, and not that much. A couple days, I was just feeling miserable. I had a fever, and just, it was... Whatever this flu cold bug is, it was just kicking my butt for a couple days. But I am back on the airwaves. Um, it is Thursday morning. It's about noon, actually. But I worked yesterday in D.C. Um, I drove a night shift, so I got down D.C. about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I worked till I don't know, 1 in the morning. And um, I had a very productive day. Very much kind of like a back in the saddle day, two hundred dollars, mostly Lyft, um, with a little bit of Uber sprinkled in there. But it's been a tough, tough week or so, guys. And you know, not that this has anything to do with Uber or Lyft, but um, you know, I went through some stuff last fall with my daughter. For those of you guys that have been following me a while, you know what I'm talking about. But um, my mom, who's been staying with me since the beginning of December is 72 and uh, it looks like she has dementia she um, I don't know she's just in you know she's got herself all messed up and she was kind of staying with us temporarily while we were trying to figure out what to do with her and I've got her in a place now that's kind of evaluating her and you know treating her for some other kind of stuff that's going on at the same time but uh, it looks like they're going to give her a diagnosis of dementia and uh, we're going to need to get her somewhere where she can be safe the rest of her, uh, you know, long term. So I've been going on that. I'm her only child, so it's pretty much just me. So I've been dealing with that on top of being sick, on top of everything else, um, and then trying to find a time to make money, you know, here, there and everywhere. So, it's been a crazy, crazy start to January and a crazy start to 2018. Um, just when I thought 2017 couldn't get any crazier, you know? Sometimes that's what happens. But, you know, the best medicine for those of us that are hard workers is just to get back into the thick of it. So, you know, rather than stay in bed, coughing my head off, miserable as can be, I just said, you know what? I'll go to work. I'm on antibiotics. I'm not contagious anymore. I don't sound that great, but I can still drive. I can still think clearly. And I just won't talk to customers too much unless they really, you know, engage me in a good conversation. I'll just be the quiet driver today. So that worked yesterday. I'm going to do the same thing today. Um, you know, I made about, I don't know, $900 or so last week adding everything up. Uh, I think it's a little more than that between Uber and Lyft. But I only got the $65 tier bonus, the very beginning bonus for Lyft, because of the I fell short of that one extra power hour, I think that's what it's called, power hour ride, trip, whatever. So, you know, yesterday was good. I did like four or five power hour rides a ton of regular rides, I think 20 something reg regular rides. And then I have a smattering of rides earlier in the week, but not really that many. So it's gonna be tricky to see how many power hour rides I can get today and tomorrow and Saturday. You know, can I get to the 30 for the low level or can I get to the 40 for the middle level? Um, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna do the best we can. One thing I've learned though, DC is much better for getting these power hour trips than anywhere else because you don't have line rides in Baltimore. 
and so you can't get a multiple passenger line ride. You can only do single trips. Well, you can only do so many of them in two hours. You know, if you're lucky and it's really going fast, you can do like five or six and they're all close together. But if they're not, if they're spread apart, you know, realistically, you're going to do like three or four. So a line ride, which is a pool, really opens it up. Then you can do, you know, two or three line rides with multiple passengers each. And as long as you start within the power hour, it doesn't matter when you end that line ride. So they can really work out in your favor and they can kind of actually stretch it out a little bit for you if you get lucky enough to get one with multiple passengers. So, you know, that's my plan is to stay close to DC where the line rides are eligible, basically inside the 495 Beltway. Other than that, guys, that's really about it. I am doing my best to get back on track, guys. It's been a bumpy few weeks, um, no doubt. But I promise you guys, I will get back into the groove of things and, um, and get back to producing the numbers that I'm used to, get back to, you know, really getting some good information to you guys. And, um, you know, we'll get this thing figured out. Thank you, everybody that's been patient with me. A lot of you guys have been subscribing since the very beginning, and I really appreciate it. It's been a crazy few months for me. Even my buddy that I was talking to the other day told me, you know, you got a lot of crap going on in your life, Mike. And I most certainly do. My daughter... You know, it's doing a lot better. The school program that she's in right now is, is really great for her. And that's really helping her. So, you know, right when that kind of starts getting on the mend is obviously now I got to deal with my mom and the stuff that she's going through. So always something in my life. But I'm no different than any of you guys out there. I mean, you guys have things going on in your lives too. And, you know, a lot of you guys might be even going through things tougher than what I'm going through. So it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, I'm any better than anybody or anything that I'm going through is any more complicated or challenging. You know, we all have struggles in our lives that we have to face. And um, the beauty of Uber and Lyft is that it does give us that flexibility. I mean, I've lost several days in the past couple of weeks just dealing with stuff with my mom that, you know, I would not have been able to schedule in advance. They were just things that happened that I needed to just stop everything. And so, you know, having a regular nine to five job, you really limit yourself on what you can and can't do. And you put yourself in a pickle, excuse me, with your boss. If you call out, you know, an inordinate or a lot of time, um, you know, that your bosses don't like that. You know, that employers really frown on that. I used to be a manager. I know. You know, when people call out all the time and have lots of schedule conflicts and personal life drama that takes them away from work, you know, as a manager, you do. You kind of, your eyes glaze over and you start to think about the bottom line and you don't think about your employee. Um, and that's horrible. I mean, I'm guilty of it a couple times myself. But, you know, the good managers, they know that when you're going through something, you just got to support your employee and, you know, get them through to the other side. But... There's a lot of crappy managers out there, guys. I'm sure you know that. And uh, they don't always care for that kind of stuff. So, because they only care about results. So, you know, Uber and Lyft, it's, it's huge, guys. We're our own boss. We don't have to answer to anybody. We answer to ourselves. If we need a day off, we take a day off. If we want to work extra, we work extra. You know, and that's the beauty of this is that, you know, yesterday, you know, my wife was thinking, why are you going out? You're still coughing. You still don't feel good. And I said, honey, I got to make money. And uh, I'm not doing anybody any good sitting in bed watching Netflix. If I get on the road, I can at least make a couple bucks. And I made 200 of them. So there you have it. So the plan on doing the same tonight, DC again, rinse and repeat. You know, what works once will work twice. If you just uh, stick to your, your system, and I'm going to do just that. So wish me luck, guys. I will, uh, I will try and get a video out tonight if my voice is not hoarse and I don't lose my voice during the night. Um, last night, it was basically a squeak by the time I got home. So that's why I wanted to make this daytime video. 
while my voice still sounds pretty good. But uh, wish me luck, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.